Understanding the Cloud, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss, the cloud. You might have heard this phrase a lot these days, especially when talking about technology and data storage. But what does it really mean? Let's dive in and find out together. Firstly, let's break down the phrase. The is a definite article used in English. And cloud usually refers to the white or gray mass in the sky made up of tiny water droplets or ice crystals. However, when these two words come together as the cloud, they take on a whole different meaning. In the world of technology, the cloud refers to a network of remote servers hosted on the internet, used to store, manage, and process data, rather than a local server or personal computer. Think of it like this, instead of keeping all your files and applications on your own computer's hard drive, you can store them on the internet, and access them anytime, anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. People and businesses use the cloud for various reasons. Here are some of the common uses. Data storage. You can store your documents, photos, and videos on the cloud. Data backup. The cloud provides a secure place to back up important data. Software as a service, SaaS. Instead of installing software on your computer, you can access and use software via the internet. Collaboration. Teams can work on documents and projects simultaneously, no matter where they are in the world. Using the cloud comes with numerous benefits, such as Accessibility. You can access your data and applications from anywhere, at any time. Cost efficiency. It can be more affordable as you only pay for the storage or services you use. Scalability. You can easily increase or decrease your storage and services as needed. Security. Cloud providers invest heavily in security measures to protect your data. While the cloud offers many advantages, there are also concerns and considerations, such as Privacy. How is your data being used? And who has access to it? Security. Even though cloud providers invest in security, breaches can still happen. Internet dependency. You need a stable internet connection to access the cloud. Cost. While it can be cost efficient, it can also get expensive depending on your usage. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on the cloud. We hope this video has helped clarify what the cloud is, how it's used, and the considerations you should keep in mind. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning content. Until next time, happy learning!